Brought to you by DigiKeys. This week it is Aces Connectors. Lady Ada, what is the new product introduction of the week this week? Okay, this product is Aces. <laughs> I was all saying that. Um, it just feels like so British. Um, this week's IMPI, if you go to the next thing, is, I'm going to get this part number correct, MSDV 2108 BK33T in the AKA version of this chip. Also, these are it's very cool. Um, maybe I'm the only one in the world who is just fascinated by this, but these are vertical yeah, cool. micro USB connectors. I've never seen these before. They are truly NPIs because I'm, like sometimes I'm like, oh, here's like a DC DC converter and it's like a little better than other DC DC converters. I have never seen a vertical micro USB connector. Let's go to the overhead because I'll show this off in person. Hold on. Sorry. Uh oh. You did it. Oh, did it? Okay, great. Um, okay, so these have through hole pins, and then they also have uh, three of these larger mechanical pads, and they have this like nice flat uh, plastic body. And uh, there's two versions. The um, oh, I forgot to bring a micro SD card. Uh, there's a slightly bigger version, the silver one. Uh, this one has a push push connector, so you can push the micro SD in and then pull it out. Uh, the smaller black one is push pull. So after you've pushed the micro SD, you have to pull it back out. So this is bigger because it has a spring system in it to return the micro SD card. But they both have you know the same uh, footprint and um, you know through hole pads. And then they sit upright, which is great. If you're making a project or product with, you know, that has a design, you don't want a separate PCB because you want to mount the micro SD in a vertical fashion rather than a right angle fashion. Uh, these are your bag. Okay, so let's get into it. Micro SD cards. They're amazing. They're so inexpensive. Uh, you can get them, you know, any size from like 64 megabytes up to like half a terabyte. Basically, uh, there you can buy them in grocery stores or, of course, in DigiKey has like hundreds of different varieties in stock, sizes, prices, capacities. Um, but like 99% of the time when people are using a micro SD card or micro SD card socket, you're going to use a uh, SMT right angle socket like this. This is, you know, I link to it in the text. Uh, for this INMPI, the, the DigiKey part number. It's got the uh, pads and pins on the bottom. They're very secure. This is a push-pull type. Sorry, push-push type because you can see the spring. And, um, you know, this is, they're inexpensive and very easy to use, but you need to mount them in a way so that the PCB is right up against the edge of your enclosure so that the micro SD can pop out. And that isn't always possible depending on your mechanical design. Um, so like I said, there's two versions. The silver one is push-push. This one is push-pull, much smaller and simpler. Um, there's a 3D model available, so you can easily model this into your uh, mechanical enclosure to make sure you have the slots in the right spot. And then um, I like that they went with all through-hole design. is isn't like half SMT, half through-hole, because all those pads are going to give you a lot of mechanical stability when... Um, you solder into your PCB, you're gonna, you know, you have to wave or hand or selective solder it in. But, you know, it is this, you know, tall lever and uh, it would be easy for it to get cracked off if there was any torque on it. So having both wide and long row of uh, through hole pins is gonna keep it nice and stable. Um, the silver one is a little bit bigger than the, oh, sorry, that was the black one. And this is the silver one, I think. Anyways, um, the data sheets for both, uh, document all the pins. Um, every pin is available, so you can use it with SDIO or, of course, with SPI format. And also, there is a um, card detect pin available, so you can um, detect when you know an SD card has been inserted or removed. And there's lots in stock. I actually picked some up because I'm going to make a breakout board for these two designs. Um, but there's still over four thousand available of both types, um, and the Push push type, you know, the little bit bigger, more expensive one is about $1.60 in quantity. And the push pull one 
is about a dollar, which is not that much more expensive than your standard surface mount right angle micro SD card. So, you know, if this helps you by not, not making a separate PCB that then you have to kind of mount in a weird location because everything can be in on one place. And then you're mentioning it would be kind of fun. You could just slot the micro SD. Yeah. Card. I wanted to make a, a, you know, a little retro game emulator with some of these new powerful chips and you would pop in the cartridge cartridge, the micro SD kind of sticking up from yeah. like a, you know, Atari 20. And that's like really hard to mechanically do if you want to have it come from the top or, you know, not from yeah. the side. Uh, but now it's really easy thanks to these connectors. All right. That is Eye on MPI this week. Eye on MPI.